Hey. So, uh, listen. I got maybe, maybe five hours of sleep last night. I'm used to at least 12 hours. So, Matt is sick. So, I'm, I'm going to be filling in. So, uh, welcome to the San Angelo Soup. My name is Soupy. And, uh, find out what's floating around your side of town or whatever he says. All right. Stay tuned. Good morning, you sexy San Angelo and you. I heard you met Soupy the Sheep. Sorry I was late. You're always late. What? What is that supposed to mean? Mm, nothing. That's what I thought. You know what? No. You're late all the time, and it's absolutely disrespectful. You don't care about anyone else's time but your own. Jeez, grumpy sheep. Anyway, guys, find out what's floating. Wait a second, what are you doing on the mic anyway? Gak is the co-host. Gak? He's literally an aluminum frog. He was here before you. But story number one, Angelo Skate Park Initiative, renovating San Angelo Riverside Skate Park. This is terrific. I actually did a piece on this. I went and interviewed uh, Kevin Little yesterday, which I'll be releasing later today. Look out for that one. In response to the deteriorating conditions of the beloved San Angelo Riverside Skate Park, a new initiative dubbed Skate Angelo has emerged, aiming to revitalize and replace the aging infrastructure of the park. Established in 2023, Skate Angelo seeks to address the pressing need for renovation to ensure the safety and enjoyment of a local of local skateboarders for this local park. We're talking about the downtown park near the river, um, the Riverside Skate Park. Mr. Little was awesome. I love talking to Kevin Little. He's very passionate about skating, whether that's inline skating, skateboarding, any kind of skating. He loves it and his heart is in the right place. We need to help this gentleman to raise funds, guys. We need to help Skate Angelo to replace some of their existing grind rails, their ramps, all that stuff. I mean, this park was created 20 years ago. In fact, he and I talked about, I used to, to rollerblade inline skate, and 20 years ago, we didn't have anywhere to go. We went to Central, we went to McGill, we went to uh, playgrounds, and you'd get kicked out of those places. And we're lucky to have these skate parks for the obvious reasons. You know, it's a, it's a nice place for, for kids to go. It keeps them out of trouble. Uh, it gets them out of the house from playing video games. It's a great outlet. It's very productive, constructive. Um, it's a place to take out stress. It's, it's a place to push yourself and grow. And even Kevin talked about he wasn't great at traditional team sports. But it, this kept him from going down the wrong path a few times in his life because it's a terrific outlet. Like he said, he was able to push himself and challenge himself in ways and build confidence. And he equated it to life. You know, in skating, you fall down, you get right back up and you keep pushing or you can quit. Right. I love that. So you fall down, you get better. You get back up and you keep pushing. You get better. You grow and evolve. Number two is we got the Unidad Playground uh, facelift. So this is another good thing. A popular San Angelo playground with, it will be closed for the rest of the week and the weekend for renovations. The playground at Unidad Park on Vista del Arroyo will be closed starting yesterday through the weekend until Monday, April 29th. Workers will be installing a top seal coat on the surface of the playground equipment starting tomorrow. The Unidad Playground will remain closed through the weekend uh, to get the new coat. Next story, San Angelo efforts to monitor lead and copper in your water. Good old San Angelo water. Now this one's kind of, kind of funny and I'll tell you why, but beginning in uh, June, samples of San Angelo tap water will be tested from San Angelo homes. The testing required by the EPA is to test for high levels of both copper and lead in your water. Employees from the Water Quality Lab will drop off sample kits at homes to homeowners to collect tap water to sample and then they'll leave it on the doorstep to be picked up. It's like a water Santa Claus or something. They come by and they collect all the samples. 
Uh, they told them, make sure they're telling people who, who get selected to not get water from the bathroom sink or the kitchen, and especially uh, in the evening. Try to do it first thing in the morning, they're saying. So we'll see what's what's in our water. All right, guys, that's it for today. That's your San Angelo soup. I'm Matt, your host. And I'm your co-host, Soupy. I guess he thinks he's going to be a co-host. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Go out and crush your Thursday. And we'll see you tomorrow for some more end of the week soon. Have a good one.